Aries. Hello, 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 my tribe. For anyone who's new, welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. All right, I am back in business doing my readings. So we're going to be doing Aries love reading. What's going on in your love situation, love energies, for the first couple of weeks of January. So we're going to say January 14th, 1st through the 14th of 2021. 20, 2021, geez, I almost said 2020. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to do these a little bit different. Let's see. So we're going to do you, the connection, your person and the connection between the two of you, okay? So let's see. This is you, Aries. And I, will, I hope you can see this. This <coughs> frame is a little bit weird in the where I'm doing it here, okay? But I want you to be able to hopefully see the majority of the cards. All right. Bottom of the deck for you, Aries. I hope you can see it's kind of... The lighting is going to wear. The Nine of Pentacles. So right now, you're, for a lot of you Aries, you are single right now. You are um, actually enjoying being single for the most part. I'm hearing working on yourself, focusing on yourself and what's going on in your life right now. So this is you, Aries. So you have the, can you see this? The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I don't know if you can see it. It's Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is um, you have come into terms in what would actually make you happy, what is the best for you in general. So you have a new perspective on love. You have work, are working on yourself, I have worked on yourself in a way that has allowed you to find the truth in yourself. So a new way of thinking about love in general. You're looking for somebody who can bring out the passion in you, um, just like you hope you can bring out the passion in them. And you're looking for some sort of, you know, for, forever after, you know, something that can be solid and almost like a fairy tale romance type thing that you want happiness. So now um, your person has the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the, uh, what is that, Seven of Pentacles. Your person could very easily be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's... Pentacles are earth signs. They don't have, it doesn't have to be, though. Your person is very focused on either themselves, their work, and whomever you may be thinking about. Yeah, they're very much deep in thought. They're very much deep in thought and want to take things step by step. They are either involved in their work, they're involved in something in their life. So it's almost as if you both are focusing on things in your own lives at this time. And um, the King of Pentacles is... Um, very detail oriented and and so was the knight of pentacles very slow paced and is fine with that they like to take things one step at a time they like to know pretty much what the next step is going to bring for them no surprises so right now they're trying to decide in their life with the seven of pentacles if you know i'm thinking that they might be have been maybe single for a while maybe they're not with somebody and now they're trying to decide if all the effort they're putting into work is actually worth giving up a possible love situation. So your connection with whomever you may be thinking of. Justice, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Wands. Things need to balance on both sides for you, both on each side of you. Like, you're working on your stuff, like I said, you're, they're working on theirs. And when you both can get things balanced in your lives, I think then the evidence is going to show that the truth will come out. And if you know who this person is specifically... If you're thinking of somebody, then the two of you may eventually come together. Um, and with the hanged man, you're both just kind of taking your time and waiting it out. You may have some internal battles, um, either within yourself or between the two of you. Maybe one of you wants to move forward and the other one doesn't right now. Uh, maybe you're at that, that point in your life. So let's see if I can get a little bit of clarification here. I am going to get... I'm going to look at the Knight of Wands. All right, let's get something for the Knight of Wands, shall we? Hmm, devil. On. Somebody look at the bottom, devil. So there may be some toxic energy here that you need to, not between the two of you, things in your life that you need to work through before you can come together, okay? So, whoa, well, I was going to take another one. This one popped out. Ooh, yes. Oh, yeah, there's still time down here. Hold on. Just one moment, Tito. <laughs> that sneeze. All right. Um, so the Ace of Cups. See, so there's the Ace of Cups 
has a multiple meaning, me, meanings. Uh, upright, it can mean new love. It can also mean self-love, so that you are filling your own cup and working on yourself, okay? There's an internal emotional understanding and ready to start anew, and you fill your own cup, and the Two of Cups is after that, and then you can go into, um, which I'm hearing here specifically. So there's a delay. There's a delay in the two of you coming together because you both still have things you need to work on before you can come together. This could be a good match. Let me just see in the bottom of the deck. Yes, yeah, some things need to end in your life specifically, because this is your sign, Aries. And there may be cross watchers out there. I don't know if I said this. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, something needs to end in your life, Aries, in order for you to move forward and either get involved with this person or anybody else who may come into your life. All right, let's see what we have for your person. I'm going to do the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, please, for Aries, a person. Let's see what we have here. The Page of Cups. Interesting. So they dream about love. Now, if you two know each other, they may be thinking of you. They would like to offer their cup to someone. However, there may be a little bit of immaturity in love with this person, or it could be that they are just uh, more up in dreaming about love than actually being involved in it. So they may they may be involved in work, and sometimes they'll like right down here with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I like my work and I like what I do and this is important to me, but sometimes I just wish I had a person in my life. However, with the Page of Cups, they think about it, they dream about it, but they don't necessarily, you know, they stress out about it, the Nine of Swords. They don't necessarily follow up on it. You know what I mean? They, they dream about it more than they actually act on it. And they may be fickle in their emotions. Sometimes they want it, sometimes they don't. They're like, no, nah, I'm fine like, by myself. I'll just, I'll just continue working. Confusion. So let's see this Five of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. You both are struggling with your independence. And I'm hearing that it may be commitment phobic. Maybe on this person's side, maybe on your side, Aries. You know that yourself. The bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is saying that sometimes you have to take a gamble and just risk. You know, work on yourselves, continue to do so, but then... It's kind of like, it's, you, you, if you've met someone, this may have been faded. This, this person may be teaching you about yourself and you them. So I just want to make sure I don't run out of time. Oh, no, we're doing, we're doing good. All right. Um, yeah, so let me just get one more card here. I'm going to leave the Wheel of Fortune out. Um, justice. I don't know why that Justice is calling to me. Let's clarify the Justice card. Ace of Wands. The Hermit. Okay, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. With the Hermit card, if I can get it here, the Hermit card, there's the Knight of Wands again. There is some sort of underlying passion with the two of you. Whether you both are willing to admit it, maybe you're covering it up with his person's covering it up with the work. You may be dealing with your own stuff. But underneath it all, there is some passion. And the Ace of Wands is, there's a spark between the two of you. With the Ace of Wands, there's something that's inspired you. Um, just lots of passion. So what I'm hearing is for, for you, yourself, Aries, and your person, give it a little time. With the Hermit card, it's it's taking time out to really dig with deep within you to understand what it is that you not only want but need in a relationship. Something that's going to um, be a good match for you. Someone's going to be a good match for you. So I think you both have some soul searching to do. But in the meantime, that doesn't mean you can't communicate. That doesn't mean you can't be friends. That doesn't mean you can't hang out, go out to dinner, have a drink. Um, but you both may be a little wary about entering into a relationship too soon, too fast. All right, especially your person. They think I got a lot of pentacles. They're slow. So the hermit is about digging deep um, and just being introspective with yourself. And the answers within you will come. And once you figure that out and get those answers, then you can emerge and say, I know exactly what I want and need in my life when it comes to relationships and love. And now I know whether you can decide whether this person is for you or not. And with the Ace of Wands, maybe going through with the Justice card, something is going to give you the evidence and inspire you that will either let you know whether this person is for you or isn't. Okay? The cards don't tell you. They don't predict the future in spite of what people think. Um, okay. I, I'm not going to run out of time yet. I timed this well. Um, but close. So um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, 
is you may want to take a chance with this person. Um... But anyways, I was saying the cards don't predict. They they give you advice and some guidance. It's up to you to make your decision. Um, but whomever this person is, you may want to give them a chance. And, and be patient with them. Aries, patience. <laughs> uh, although, temperance did not come out. So see, I'm hearing that you've done some great self-work and you've learned how to be patient. Because every time I do a reading for Aries, right, Lisa? Hi, Lisa. Um, <laughs> the temperance card comes out. This time it didn't, which tells me that you've learned a lot about yourself and you've learned how to be patient to get the right person for you. All right. This is just for the first two weeks of January and going into January 2021. So I'm going to try to do a midweek, I mean, you know, uh, bi-weekly. So in the middle of the month, I will try to do another one and see what's going on with y'all, Aries. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you will join me again. If you're not part of the tribe, do consider subscribing and joining the tribe. I would love to have you. And um, thumbs up, please, if you like this. I would appreciate that. That gets the message out to a lot of other people. It's an easy thing to do. Hit that like button and you may be sending a message to someone who needs it along with yourself. All right. Thank you so much. And comment. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you will join me again. Peace out.